All right, welcome back, citizens. One and all, welcome back. Let's talk Scolo, the place where you train is where we are currently. So there's three scre screens here, and we're going to cover them all. This is obviously your character screen. You have the ability to unlock additional slots here. You have the ability to unlock additional gear at the shop. You can reroll. You can change your uh, accessory item, which lately I just prefer like cloak or something like that but we'll we'll leave it like that for now uh, then you can go to the battle menu and you can re-roll the week you can reveal all and here it shows you brackets etc and all the potentials that you could unlock then utility menu is the most important this is the most detailed you can heal you can repair gear you can pick specific things that you want to see in the shop you can bribe, you can fundraise. So this is a good one for when you play slave class. You can fundraise uh, fame for gold, or alternatively, you can fundraise gold for fame. Scola itself, you can set your character to train, although I've never really used this. You have to purchase the tools. You want to choose a normal amount of stamina so you don't use all your stamina when you're going into a round. You can focus your training on specific things. You can invest in your next character here per 1,000 gold. You'll receive 10% of it. And then you can upgrade, have better healing prices, heal for more, better repairs. You can be able to skip matches. I'd like to get that one to improve the shop early on. This shows your character and skills in your current rank. This is your stats of the round. This is your backstory. You can change your name if you want to. That's not bad. Then it shows you your victory conditions and it shows you all the other potential victories and legacies that you have. So overall, pretty good, pretty simple menu system, but necessary to know how to play. I will highly advise getting all the auxiliary slots unlocked early on so you can have additional sets of gear you can see this thing here this i'm going to need to repair this again shortly and i don't have an alternate weapon currently speaking of which back to scolo upgrades always try and get the heirloom upgrade pretty early on because that will give you the ability to always then have a item in this first slot here like i could technically put this here and if i died i could carry this weapon on to my next playthrough which is very cool but on that note y'all we're going to call it there that's just a quick scolo overview on uh how we who are about to die and the system works on like the menus and selections so y'all take care and enjoy please do like and subscribe